First, a musical milestone is being marked in Auckland tonight. It's the 21st anniversary of Flying Nun Records, the company which introduced the South Island sound to the world. And the guest list includes the royalty of the New Zealand indie music scene. Without this band, New Zealand's most respected underground rock label, Flying Nun, probably wouldn't exist. Or so believes its founder, Roger Shepard. He says the three-piece indie band put the label firmly on the fickle music map back in the early 80s. I'm a big soft spot for the clean, because they're the ones that kind of kicked the whole thing off. Um, it was their success that kind of gave us the confidence and the, and the cash flow to do, to do lot more, lots more stuff, to do, to do things with other bands like the Chills and the Villains. And the clean were cheap. Their first record cost just $50. This memory and many more were recalled by Shepard at the label's 21st birthday bash held in Auckland. Flying Nun was born in Christchurch, not Dunedin as commonly assumed, in 1981 and named after a TV programme. It quickly became responsible for some of the best indie guitar bands in the world. And it started careers that otherwise could have stalled. Yeah, it's extremely important. I mean, you just can't imagine a parallel universe. A lot of these bands wouldn't be here today if Roger hadn't made that first step, I guess. That first step led Flying Nun to worldwide fame and success. It's a very international label, so if you're in America or the UK or Europe, people know Flying Nun. <laughs> To mark the 21st anniversary, a new Flying Nun album has been recorded with contributors from past and present bands. For many, the highlight of today's birthday is recording their album titled Under the Influence. Recording started at 8 o'clock this morning and will last 21 hours. There are 12 bands involved, all of whom will record two songs, one original and one Flying Nun cover. It's an offer you can't refuse, right? <laughs> it's just really fun to be involved. It's a lovely way to spend a Friday. That's great. I, mean, I was stoked to be asked to come up, really. Under the Influence will be released in May to coincide with New Zealand Music Month. Amanda Gillies, 3 News.